And welcome to Ugo Market Update, Charts of Interest on Friday the 30th of December. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets to lead you around how markets are looking at the end of this year. Of course, overnight we saw the US have a strong session with all major indices posting in excess of 1% gains. Big tech snapped its losing streak up in excess of 2.5%, bouncing off early November lows, which we tested earlier in the week. US futures aren't following through, however, we are mildly negative in early Asian trading, but Asian indices are following that strong US lead, with the ASX up around 0.6% soon after open. European equity futures are also pointing slightly higher, and VIX is near neutral. US dollar index is trading in a tight range. US dollar is slightly higher in Asia against most currencies. Gold did retest 18.25 and looks as though it's there to stay and have another go potentially. Copper is also range bound and oil failed to break that resistance we've been pointing out over the last few days and remains towards the top of the range, around about $85 on the Brent crude CFD contract. Cryptos don't appear to have any buying pressure coming in. It does remain below 17,000 and trade towards the lower end of the current range. Not much movement today in Asia at this stage. And it is a quiet day today again with the Chicago PMI coming out of the US of note later. Apart from that, nothing much going on that's likely to influence sentiment. A big week next week. Maybe some end of quarter repositioning. Maybe some short covering at the end of the quarter and of the year. And of course, markets are closed on Monday, uh, meaning there may be some people closing positions out. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, the yen has been interesting, really, for the whole month. It's been very volatile for this particular pair. You can see uh, what it did is it came up and it tested 134.28. You can see weakness in the US dollar yesterday versus the yen. And this is continuing a little bit of yen strength across the board at this stage. Looks as though it could come down and test this 131.63, which is around about 100 pips below where we're trading now. If we just look at an hourly chart, you can see the extent of the drop yesterday and that follow through from Asia with a strong candle. Uh, we're watching this level here as a level of potential interest around about 132.45. And then we are in this range bound area here. Uh, so we could see it fall down towards that mid 131s if we do get a break of that level. On the ASX, we are seeing a bounce in some lithium stocks and IGO or one of interest. You can see this potential reversal. It's held on to the 200 EMA. Uh, and you can see there a very nice bounce. We'd probably put a level of interest around about this 1360 level. You can see it's tested that already today in early trading but just falling back beneath that so uh, worthwhile just keeping an eye on this not only for today but also at the beginning of next week trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now